Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some OCRP and we are playing as a civilian. Today we're switching it up a little bit though. Instead of playing as Mike the 24-7 clerk, we're going to be playing as a newer character, Mitch Sizemore. So Mitch is a new truck driver trying to start out his own business, but today he's made some uh, questionable business deals with the ballers trying to deliver some packages for them. So the whole idea is that the ballers are trying to encroach on Trevor Phillips's Blaine County drug empire and take over as the drug kingpins of all of San Andreas. So Mike is delivering several loads of drugs all across the county, including up in Polito and in Grapeseed, and at the O'Neill Farms. But he ran into a few problems. First off, in the first drop in Polito, people ended up getting murdered in a drug deal gone bad, so his truck ended up on the news and on the police's radar. Also, he drove by Trevor's house and got shot up by someone at Trevor's house, one of his workers, and that got in a black truck and drove away. So right now, Mitch is on the side of the road trying to fix up his truck and get out there so he can make the rest of his deliveries. Let's see how that works out for him. But first, a pesky bystander saw the whole incident in front of Trevor's and decided to call 911. 911, where is your emergency? Uh, hi there. There is. Oh. Sorry. There is. Uh, there were sh some shots fired um, out in Sandy Shores. Um, out over by uh, 1035. And it was at this green semi truck, which I saw on the news. Uh, Might have been involved with like a, some like drug deal or something. I don't know. But there are a lot of shots fired at this trailer. Okay, and what's the closest street there at 1035? Um, it'd be Zancudo Avenue. Okay, and did you see any subjects with guns, or you just heard the shots in the area? Uh, I mean, I saw a black truck driving out, out of the way, but uh, other than that, no, I didn't see anything. Okay, and you didn't get a plate or anything? Um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but it might have said, like, something like snow or something. I don't know. But I'd look out for that green truck, because, I mean, he looked like his truck was in bad shape. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Thanks for the call. If you have any additional information, don't hesitate to give us a call back. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Take care now. Alright, so it looks like we got a cop here now, so awesome. Oh, hey, man! Hey, what's going on? So, I, I kind of got shot at. Um, Apparently the guy I was driving by did not take too kindly to me uh, driving on the street or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I got shot up and my truck is all me sorts of messed up. Okay. Do you have a description of the person or the vehicle uh, who shot you? Yeah, it's, it's a black truck. I, I don't know much other than that. I mean, some guy, he was kind of shorter. I don't know. Maybe black hair. Okay. And you don't know the, you don't know the individual at all. The yeah, I mean, at you? No, I don't. I mean, I was just driving by uh, the house over there behind the 24/7 and uh, the gas station over there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just kind of shot at me. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to make some deliveries for these nice guys wearing purple. Gotcha. Okay. You have your, uh, your manifest for your shipment here. Uh, yeah, I can go check in the truck. Uh, let's see.
guns. Just no snowballs either. Alright, uh, here's what they gave me. Uh, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to get that close to you. Um, but yeah, uh, here's what they gave me. It, it looks different than anything else I've ever seen, but, you know, I'm pretty new to this, so it could just be uh, a different business, as you know. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, let me take a look. Okay, sir, and you said the, sh the shipper provides you with this manifest? Because this doesn't look like any manifest I've ever seen either. Yeah, I mean, they were they were pretty nice. I mean, they had pretty big guns, but I figured, you know, it's just high, uh, high, uh, uh, expensive car cargo, so, uh, you know, they need to protect it. I need to okay. get rid of my weapons. Yeah, what kind of cargo do you have back there, anyway? Not really, uh clearly defined on the manifest which it should be no I, I don't know like i dropped it off at this uh nice little house over in grapeseed um i think it the o'neills or something like that i'm not sure and then i dropped it off uh over at the hillbillies over there at the not the the liquor race but the the other uh liquor store out there um a bunch okay. of hillbillies out there but i mean they prayed me uh, pretty good for what they were getting so i i don't know You have your uh, your CDL and your insurance and all that on you as well. Yeah, that that should be on the clipboard. That uh, that's in the little plastic oh, okay. pouch on the bottom, uh, oh, underneath okay. all the paper. It. it stays on there. Gotcha. Okay, so you said grape seed, and here in Sandy, any other deliveries today? Oh, oh yeah, there was that one up in Polito, but uh, they got kind of mad, so I kind of left in a hurry. I didn't really see what was going on, but uh, there, there was some uh, fighting and shouting. I heard some like fireworks go off as I was driving away, but I mean nothing, nothing I saw. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, give me just a second. Um, you can just kind of stand over here in front of my cruiser if you want. You just, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm looking this over. I'm obviously not going away. My tire's completely flat. Do you mind if I sit in my truck? It's kind of cold out here, and, uh, you know, I forgot a coat. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, All right, just, man, thank uh, you. If you could turn the engine off. Turn the engine off for me. Keep the windows closed, obviously, so you can stay warm. But, yeah, just turn the engine off for me. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I will do that. All right. Alrighty. Yep, so uh, Mitch is probably going to jail now because um, there is a bunch of drugs. Why? I was going to say, why is that turning back on? <laughs> it doesn't need to. Looks like he's coming up here. Hey, sir, here's your paperwork back, by the way. I forgot to hand it back to you. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'll grab it here. Uh, oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. You mind opening up the back so I can check out your cargo while we're waiting on the uh, record to arrive? Oh, yeah. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and unlock the lock. I mean, we already broke the seal for the guys, so uh, I guess just unlocking it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. All right, if you need anything else, I'll be warming up. All right, sounds good.
Is he no clipped into the trailer? What? Or is he just in his? No, I think he's. I think he's no clipped in there. That's pretty cool. Good. Good for him. Good RP on his part. I, I appreciate that. Mitch is uh, going to jail. Hey there, sir. Can you do me a favor and go ahead and step out of the vehicle so I can chat with you? It's a little easier to chat if you're down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. All right. What's up? Um, so I looked in the back. And um, I'm seeing a lot of narcotics back there. Any idea why that would be? N narcotics, like a, like aspirin and stuff like that. Like, uh, no, no, much much harder stuff than that. Stuff that you definitely shouldn't be carrying. Did you look at this cargo at all when you when you took it? I mean, you're kind of required to. It's kind of in the in the terms that you get when you uh, get a CDL. Is you have to kind of know what you're carrying. Well, I mean, I knew it was like special special cargo. That's what they uh, told me out there at the the lumber mill in the Palito Bay. Um, but no, I I didn't really look at it. They said, hey, if you don't look at it, you know, we'll, we'll give you a hundred bucks and call it good. And I was like, well, I mean, it's, I'm starting up my new business. A hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah. All right. Yeah, I understand. Unfortunately, you you don't have a a. Uh valid manifest and there are narcotics back there so uh, if you could turn around and face the face the truck for me oh i mean i guess oh i'm gonna need to place you under arrest at this time okay so okay. you have the right to remain silent anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law you have the right to an attorney if you can't afford one one will be appointed to you at no cost by the state do you understand these rights yeah man i mean jeez i i wasn't expecting that jeez I mean, I mean, you gotta do yeah, what you gotta I do. Mean, I appreciate that you've been so cooperative with me today. It's it's unfortunate, but yeah, I I can't just uh, overlook that. That's a lot of narcotics back in there. So, I mean, I mean, right, I do guess. Do me a favor. Yeah, do me a favor and walk back towards my car. I'm not gonna drag you or anything, but if you could just walk back towards my car. All right, I'll man. Follow you. And that guy had no shirt on. It's a he's probably pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cold out here for sure. All right, we'll get in my car. The engine's uh, engine should be running. Or actually, I'm not sure if it is running. But I'll start it up for you. Make sure it's warm in there. All right, man. Thank you. I'll just put it in there. <laughs> Boop. I mean, fair enough. That's uh, <laughs> that's exactly what I expected to happen. Uh, cause, uh, yeah, you can't just, uh, be hauling drugs. That's, that's n not a good thing. Alright, so I'm guessing I know the answer, but I'm assuming you don't have names or anything of any of these, uh, individuals that, uh, provided you with the, with the shipment that you're carrying? N no, man, uh, I don't know. They, all they kept saying was they're the, the Balas or something like I don't know. It's some okay. new organization. They're running out of the old, uh, lumber mill up there in Polito. Uh, yeah, one had like a purple jersey okay. on. Mm, okay, that's helpful. <laughs> All right, yeah, like <laughs> I said, I appreciate you being so cooperative, man. I hate that, uh, hate that it's coming to this, but I mean, if you if you can, you know, go to court and prove you didn't know, um, I'm sure they can lighten your sentence for you. So, holy crap, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Did that gas station just explode? <laughs> no, it's not good at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> oh, man. 
that uh that escalated quickly <sighs> boy that escalated quickly i mean jeez kind of wonder i saw another semi truck driver over there um driving the Ron trailer so I wonder if uh, he just hit something or if he hit the pumps while driving man we only got one Elio this is the only Elio on the server props to him though I mean he's doing a thorough job and uh, not messing around <laughs> Hey, sir, if you could just check your skybox. I'm not sure if you saw that or not. Nah, there's no uh, messages going through my head right now. What oh. about now? Ah, there it is. Alright, cool. Yeah. Sometimes if I'm too far away, you know how it goes. Yeah, no, I know uh, telecommunications got its uh, limits. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm almost done here. Um, the the wreckers just arrived on scene, so we're gonna get your vehicle hooked up. Um, it'll be going to. Well, the the truck will be going to our regular impound. The trailer's probably gonna end up going to forensics since it is uh, evidence now in a criminal case. Um, so just be advised it may be a little while before you can get that trailer back. Okay, that's no problem with me, man. Uh, that's that's not my trailer. That's theirs. They uh, supplied it and everything. So. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Yep, just give me a few more minutes, Mr. Sizemore, and uh, I'll get you transported and, and uh, take care of everything, okay? Thanks. All right. He's gonna get take care of that, but yeah, we'll come back for angel as angels, and we're gonna drive around in the All right, sir, so I got this nice officer here who's going to take it from here, all right, since I've got some other calls to get to. Yeah, uh, man, no but, problem. Yeah, hope hope they're able to get everything sorted out for you. Yeah, all right, man, I hope so, too. Yep, that's cool. All right, now we are switching over to Angel Diaz. Angel is a drug runner for Trevor Phillips, and he is the one that shot at Mike. So let's see how this plays out for him. So the last time I played as Angels, or one of the last times, uh, I had tried to do a little drug deal, um, but it exactly didn't go as planned. You got a damn problem? Do you have a problem? <laughs> yep, apparently I'm magnetic. Uh, <laughs> well, you want to keep running? Keep Do running you into have me? a problem? Let bygones be bygones. Do you have a problem? That's what I thought.
So yeah, we're gonna try that again and hope for a better result this time. We're gonna kinda slow roll it over here. And we're gonna... Hey, y'all wanna move? This is my good friend, Mr. Elephant. You can't prompt me at the time of need. <laughs> so I gave a little slow roll there. Uh, not trying to leech off of them by any means, that's, uh, but just kind of trying to get the cops on notice that there are that the truck is out is out and about. I just drifted that corner, and he's gonna stop me. I missed my turn. I guess I'll go over this way. Does he have? Yep. We'll pull over. We'll be nice. We'll be cordial. Let's see what happens here. I'm kind of curious. Because, I mean, they do obviously know that this is the guy that... <laughs> there is so much drugs in the back. I mean, just in plain view. Um, <laughs> yeah, this could go one of two ways I could see. Um, well, not really two ways. I see him getting his other officer out here. And then a pursuit ensuing. Um. <laughs> gotta see. I'm gonna kind of wait a little bit. Um. Just, just because. I want to make sure that we can get the resources out there. Um. I'm gonna be impatient because this guy uh, would not be patient with the officers. He would uh. 100% be super impatient. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but let's see what he does. I'm betting he's trying to wait until that other guy can clear off the call. Which I'm glad for. Yep, there he goes. Code 3 coming out here. Um. Oh, no. Interesting. How you doing, sir? Sorry about the delay there. My name's uh, Deputy Williams with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you have your license insurance approved registration on you? Yeah, man. Why are you hassling me? I'm just trying to get back to work. Understandable. Yeah, I'll try and get you on your way as soon as possible. Um, I'll, I'll explain everything in just a sec if I could just get your documentation. Oh, shoot. I just turned on the radio. Uh, <laughs> I don't want the radio on. Um, oh. oh, what is it? Garcia? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Garcia. All right, Mr. Garcia, sit tight for me. I'll be right back, okay? Just uh, talk to my partner. I mean, just hurry up, man. Time's money. Walk back here. I mean, I obviously have drugs in the back of the truck. <laughs> drugs? Yep, and here's the code 5. Oh no, he's just turning on his lights.
Alright, sir, what are you hauling in the back of your truck today? Uh, grass clippings. <laughs> See, do I do a... Do you normally bundle up your grass clippings and bricks like that? I mean, it's, it's how the boss wants it. Um, I, I mean, not the boss, but the boss of the... The recycling center. I mean, they want it nice and neat for us. I don't. I don't get it. I run a landscaping business. Okay. You know, all the the in between the uh, interstates and all that. Those center divides. I uh, mow all that and trim all that stuff. Gotcha. Okay. Can you do me a favor and go step out of the vehicle for me. Uh, it's kind of cold out there, and I don't really have a sh shirt or a coat or anything, so I uh, know I think I'm gonna stay here. Yeah, understandable. I'll try not to keep you out here for too long, okay? Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna stay in here. Plus, I gotta get back to work. Well, I understand that, but I really need to talk to you. If you could step <laughs> out of the vehicle for me, please. I'd still rather not. Um, so. All right. Well, it's a lawful order, so I'm not asking. I'm telling. <laughs> Give him a second to. Go ahead and get in there. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this works. With the snow, we'll go a little off road. <laughs> I know the silver auto doesn't like to turn. Switch the keyboard and mouse. Oh, one shot to the head. Oh. <laughs> Got him. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, I need to watch that back in editing and slow that down. That was a. Uh... kind of spraying and praying. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that is not what I meant Man, to what do. What you hear that, bud? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he just got me in the shoulder. I was oh, super good. close to him when he hit me, so... 
Oh man, that's good. That's really bad. <laughs> I'm glad that he is not RPing that he died, cause I mean, I think technically I got him in the head, but I was just kind of spraying and praying. Um. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, well, it didn't look like it did much better for Mr. Angels there, uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, I hope you drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more content like this. There is going to be a another OCRP video coming up very soon uh, with a couple of the same people here, and it was a blast. So I hope you guys subscribe and get the notification for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.